You're back. So Wen Ching, let's divorce. Lu Ming, you're drunk. Don't touch me. <gasps> Song Wan Ching, what are you playing at? Since you took advantage of my grandma to force me to marry you three years ago, I've already known what kind of person you are. Let me ask you again about our marriage, divorce or not. No. No? Then do your duty as a wife. Get off me. Let go of you? You racked your brain. By fair means or foul to marry me and sleep with me. Is this what you want? Mrs. Lou? I'm not divorcing. Shut up. You disgust me a lot. Song Wen Ching. Ming, you're up. I made you a bowl of sober soup. Drink some. Less prone to headaches. Song Wen Ching, don't you have any self-respect? You weren't drunk yesterday. You don't know what happened? Drink some. Freshly boiled. <gasps> Here's the contraception pill. Eat it. Looming. Eat it. Is it possible that one day I'm pregnant with your child and you'll care more about me? <laughs> Ming, you asked me to be your assistant at Embassy. I couldn't be happier. I don't agree. Lu Ming, you said that my assistant position will not be moved. You're not a man of your word. Aren't you afraid your grandma will be angry? Song Wan Ching. You always bring up my grandma. When will you end it? If you think this place is so uncomfortable. Personal department is on the fifth floor. Ming, don't do this. Ming said, in bed with you, he was thinking all about me. You're full of crap! Yun Er. Song Wen Ching, Yun Er is so kind to help you. You didn't appreciate it and also pushed her. How dare you? I didn't. Ming, don't be angry with Assistant Song because of me. Assistant Song, I know that you don't like me, but that's okay. I'll prove it. Ming, the necklace you gave me, I want to give it to Assistant Song. Will you be angry? Things that I gave you are yours. You can do whatever you want. Thank you, Ming. Assistant Song, then we'll work in peace from now on, helping Ming together, okay? I don't want it. Yan Er. It wasn't me, it was Taoyan herself. <laughs> Song Wan Ching, you don't deserve something so valuable. From tomorrow, you don't have to work here anymore. Looming. I don't agree. I am here today. Let's see who dares bully Wan Ching. Grandma. Wan Ching, don't be afraid. Even if someone has to leave today. It's her. Looming. You get this woman out of here right now. Grandma, who has to leave is her. Every time there's a problem, you tell Grandma. You're really something. I didn't tell her. It has nothing to do with watching. You got Taoyan into the company. Behind my back. Do you think I wouldn't have known it? Lu Ming, Taoyan is not a good woman. The woman who loves you the most is beside you. Why can't you see it? Grandma, 
I don't love Song Wan Ching. Why do you always tie me up with her? If I hadn't married her, I wouldn't have been with you on Earth. How did I get a grandson like you? Wan Ching, don't be afraid. Grandma will support you today. Grandma, I know you don't like me, but I'm here just to help Ming share the pressure. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but their marriage. You shut up! If you dare to touch Wan Jing today, don't recognize me as your grandma. No, grandma. Don't be so angry because of me. Moreover, if what happened today gets out, it will ruin the company's reputation. Here, don't pretend to be thoughtful and generous. Grandma will back you up today. Don't let me catch you at anything again, or I'll let you get out of MC. Looming. Wan Jing, are you okay? Grandma, I'm okay. Do you think I'm too selfish? I've trapped Looming with our marriage for three years, but he still doesn't love me. Send this document to the Junlan Hotel tomorrow. It's not my project and none of my business. I'll not go. I suggest you do as you're told, or I'll ask Ming to fire you. Even that old woman of the Lu family can't protect you. Don't be such a bully. I'm just bullying you. What can you do to me? Well, when you go there tomorrow, remember to dress up. It's an important project for the company. By then, don't disgrace me. Mr. Lu. You'd better give me a reasonable explanation. It's impossible. How did that happen? It's impossible. This is from yesterday. Lu Ming, it's all my fault. Yesterday, Assistant Song said she'd come with me. I just felt sorry for her, so... Hao Yan, what are you saying? Assistant Song, I know you don't like me, but you can't joke with the company project. What's more, you didn't know that Mr. Chen, who came to talk about the corporation, has a bad reputation, and you're dressed like that. Hao Yan, you! <laughs> Lumi, why you didn't give me a chance to explain? In your heart, am I really that despicable? You don't think about working hard all day long. You're just trying to climb up. Looming. It's been three years. Have I ever failed to do my duty in my work or in the life for the past three years? How dare you talk about doing your duty? Do you know how important the cooperation is today? If you mess it up, even my grandma can help you. <gasps> Ming, don't be angry. The most important thing now is to save the contract. I've heard the partner is interested in girls, as long as it makes up for the work. What are you saying, Yan Er? How can I let you do it? Whoever made the mess will do it. What are you saying? What a bad reputation has the partner. It's not like you don't know how many girls were ruined by him. There's no difference between you sending me there and sending me to die. Isn't that what you want? No, it isn't. Looming, I won't go there. Even if you die today, you must come with me. No, I won't go. I won't go. Fuming. <laughs> Do 
Taoyan, go back to the office first. I have some business to take care of. Me. <laughs> Assistant Song, I didn't expect that you came to talk about the cooperation. Mr. Chen, behave yourself. Assistant Song, when talking about cooperation, you should have the right attitude. Don't worry, as long as you make me comfortable, we can take our time to discuss our cooperation. <laughs> Bitch, how dare you? No. <laughs> Lumi. Mr. Lu, what do you mean? Mr. Chen, we'll talk about the cooperation next time. Are you so flightly? You don't even fight back. Sorry for interrupting you. No, Lumi. Listen to me. You're dressed like that and saying no. No. About yesterday, you can check the security camera. It was Tao Yuhan. You shut up. Do you think the cost matters? Do you mean... So... It was you. You did it to insult me. So what? Lumi. You... You hate me that much. I thought at least you have a little self-awareness. I overestimated you. Lumi. I thought you just didn't love me. I never thought. I'm not even a person in your heart. What are you pretending? As you're awake, get up. Sir, your wife. Miss, even if you quarrel with your husband, you need to take care of yourself since you're pregnant. You need to rest and not overwork. I... I'm pregnant? You're very weak. You need to rest. Otherwise, it's hard to keep the baby. Thank you, Doctor. So one Cheng, what a bitch! I can't believe that you're pregnant with Ming's baby! What do you want to do? What to do? I'm just trying to advise you. If you know what's good for you, just abort the baby yourself. Otherwise, Ming will do it by himself. He won't. He won't do it. This is Lu Ming's baby. He will not be so cruel. Then you can ask Ming. Ask him whether he wants the baby to be born from your womb. When Ming kills your baby, don't cry too pathetic. It won't happen. What dirty tricks are you playing? Blooming. Do you like kids? Let's have a baby. Do you deserve to have a child from me? So watching. You were prepared for it. What do you have to be so sad about? We... We've been married for three years. <laughs> so what? I told you when we got married, you only deserve a marriage certificate. Don't think of anything else. What if I'm really pregnant? Then abort the baby. Even if I want a child, I won't let you, such a mean woman, to be my child's mom. You're not pregnant, are you? No, I'm not. You force me to take the pill every time. How can I get pregnant? It had better be.
so wanting. Don't have wishful thinking. I'll never love you in my whole life. Never. I got it. Go to the loose home tomorrow. Don't think too much. It's grandma who asked you to go to her birthday's banquet. If at the banquet you play any tricks, I can't spare you. So on, Jane. Is this the marriage you insisted for three years? The man you loved for three years? Lumi, it's Grandma's birthday banquet. You two, assistant song. Don't misunderstand me. It's Ming who thought that I worked too hard. That's why he brought me out, to have a break. It's my first time here. I'm not familiar, so I asked him to show me around. So he didn't take you? Yan Er, why are you explaining so much to her? You... <laughs> Don't catch cold, sister-in-law. Brother. You can't be mean to me, but don't hurt your wife. I don't think you'll like your wife. Your wife's... Lu Cheng, even though you're just a bastard, you've got such a bad eye. You're attracted to this kind of woman. Lu Ming, why won't you show me any respect in front of others? Others? You really take yourself as Mrs. Lu. Respect? You don't deserve it. You stop right there. So watching, Looming left me for you. I'll never forgive you. So watching, even if half grandma's back, the role of Mrs. Lu, sooner or later, it'll be mine. Taoyan, stop dreaming. You keep saying that Looming loves you. Did he marry you? As long as I'm Mrs. Lu. You will always be a mistress who can't stand up to the public. I think you haven't figured out your position. Well, do you dare to bet? What do you want to do? Hmm, guess what? If I jump from here, will Ming think I jump by myself? Or you pushed me? Don't mess around. <gasps> Taoyan! Yan Er, if something happens to her, I'll not forgive you. So wanting, in front of Tao Yan, you are a total loser. You should be happy that Yan Er is okay. Otherwise, I'll bury you with her. She jumped herself. What's it to me? Are you saying she deliberately framed you? Do you think she's a compulsive liar like you? Lu Ming, let go of Wan Jing. Why are you determined to take that woman's sight without an end? Grandma, didn't you recognize her real face? She's such a vicious woman, not worthy of your trust. I said I didn't do it. So it was. Rush the security tape. I'll let you recognize Tao Yan's real face. Ming... Come with me. What are you doing? You messed up Grandma's birthday banquet. Are you satisfied? Looming. I really didn't push her. We just need to rush the security camera. Then the truth will show up. Why did you trust me? What's the truth? Does it matter? So you know all the stuff. Taoyuan is not like the way she behaves, innocent and kind. The person in your heart is not me. So no matter what I say, and what I do is wrong. Right. <laughs> in that case, Let's get divorced. So Wan Ching, what dirty tricks are you playing? I'm tired. Being Mrs. Lu, I've been dreaming for three years. It's time to wake up.
Looming. Didn't we agree to get a divorce? I've been at the Civil Affairs Bureau today, waiting for you all day. Why didn't you come? You were trying to get a divorce to catch my intention. I'd advise you to put this boring game away. Looming, it's you who always wants to get a divorce, isn't it? No, I don't want to dwell on it. I agreed. You and your dear friend can stay together. Isn't it good? Tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'll wait for you at the Civil Affairs Bureau. Let's go. Let's do the paperwork. Miss Song, is he who you waited for yesterday? Since you've been waiting all day, you must really want to get it for us. Hurry up. Thank you. She really waited for me at the Civil Affairs Bureau all day long. She really wants to divorce me. I've already drawn up the divorce papers. Don't worry, I'll get out of the house. I won't take any money from your family. If you have something to modify, I'm fine with it. Miss Song, let me confirm. Do you agree to divorce Mr. Lu Ming? Yes, I do. Mr. Lu, do you agree to divorce Miss Song Wang Qing? Mr. Lu, I don't agree. Grandma, why are you here? If I'm not coming, you two will get divorced. You... I thought you would just be possessed for a moment. I didn't expect you wanted to divorce Wan Qing for Tao Yan. Grandma, she asked for a divorce, but it's just what I want. That's because you broke her heart. Look at these photos. Photos of me and Yan Er. Do you expose these private photos? I'm gonna divorce you. Why do I have to do this? You've got grandma's back. Can you get a divorce? Even if we do, how can Yarn Earth stays at MC? You've got a good plan. You shut up! You've done such a shameful thing, and now you're accusing Wang Qing? Go! Now you go to Deal with the things. Sister-in-law, how are you? Lu Chang. Sister-in-law, now I'm MC's vice president. I just need an assistant. Would you like to work with me? I think if you're going to piss Lu Ming off, you should ask Tao Yan to be your assistant. Sister-in-law, Tao Yan bullied you so much at work. Are you willing to endure it? Even if you don't think about yourself, you should think about the baby in your womb. If my brother knows the baby, you know what he will do. Sister-in-law, please promise me. You're shameless. Think about it. I'll wait for your good news. Ming, now our sister song is very popular. Get me Lu Cheng. Brother, what happened? What does that mean? It's what you see. You've been abroad for so many years. Why did you come back and enter the MC and approach Song Wan Chen? What do you want? Brother, I've been abroad for years. Everybody knows I was avoiding you. But I didn't expect the Lu family to insult my mom, to look down on us. So I'll take over the Lu family. Let's get you guys high and mighty to live under my control. Still MC for me. You need real skills. Taking advantages of women. What kind of a man is that? Men should do whatever it takes. I tell you, 
I want both the company and my sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, I'll wait for you. You're going to be Lu Chang's personal assistant. Yes. Because of our current relationship, we're not likely to work together anymore. Mr. Lu, just sign the transfer agreement. Sign it? I just left, and then you and Lu Cheng got together. No wonder you wanted to get divorced in such a hurry. You've already found the next one. Please explain it. <laughs> Let go of me! Let you go to Lu Cheng? When did you learn to seduce men? Did you ever think whether Lu Cheng wants a divorced woman? Moreover, you were dumped by me. You're right. You don't want me. Someone else does. I'm just in love with Lu Cheng. So let's hurry. Get the divorce finalized. I'll let you and Tao Yan go. You let me go too. Nice dream. Getting divorced? Isn't that what you want? Now if you're willing, we can get divorced right away. Lu Cheng wants to take someone from me. He's not worthy. I warn you. You've married me, so you're mine. You will never go anywhere for your entire life. Lu Ming, don't you hate me? Don't you love Tayan? I've been kidnapping you for three years. I figure it out. So I'll let you two be together. Are you satisfying me or yourself? What will it take to get a divorce? I beg you. You have to have a begging attitude. If you want a divorce, get down on your knees. Lu Ming, do you hate me so much? Do you have to humiliate me like that? You're the one who wants to run off with that man. I... You don't want to divorce me because of Lu Cheng. I can promise you. I won't be with him after the divorce, and I won't appear in front of you. I can swear. Well, for Lu Cheng, you can go this far. Song Wan Ching, don't forget that you're still my wife. What are you doing? Get off me! Stop! Get off me! Don't touch me! So, you're going to keep yourself pure for Lu Cheng? What are you doing? Ming, you too. Yan Er. Let's hurry up and handle the divorce procedures. Otherwise, your Yan Er will be unhappy. Have you persuaded your Ming yet? Ming, haven't you completed the divorce procedures with Song Wan Ching yet? Don't you want to marry me? As long as you nod, this marriage will come to an end. We've been looking forward to this day for three years. It's not the right time. Ming! Yan Er, don't worry. I will get divorced. But we need to wait a little longer. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my personal assistant, right, sister-in-law? Hmm. Song Wan Ching colluded during her tenure as an assistant to the president. She's not a qualified assistant. What MC wants is an assistant who must both have moral integrity and talent. Having both moral integrity and talent. Are you talking about her? Vice President, what do you mean? I can enter MC all by myself. Miss Tao. You're not panicked when you say that. You... So, Wan Ching, no matter what you say, you can't just leave Ming to become the personal assistant of the vice president. What will people in the company think of Ming if you do this? That's right. I changed people because I couldn't defeat you. Vice president is a potential stock and can compete with the president. I need to remind you to be careful. Otherwise, if you choose the wrong person, you'll have no chance to regret it.
Can you say it again? Mr. Lu's workability is inferior to that of Vice President Lu. Are you even deaf now? Hit! You hit me now! I've put up with you for the past three years. Will I be afraid of your slap? You better not choose the wrong person. Don't worry, brother. I will take good care of my sister-in-law. You! Lu Ming, let go! Is that enough? You don't like me, and even hate me. So what exactly are you doing now? Waiting for me, sister-in-law? You pissed Looming off deliberately, didn't you? You're as smart as I thought. Don't you also hide your strength? Well, do you want to replace Lu Ming to be the new president of MC? Sister-in-law, how could you say that? My relationship with my brother has always been good. Stop acting. You've been abroad before, but you are able to return to MC and stabilize yourself in just one week. Even Luana leans towards you. Don't tell me these are all coincidences. It's really boring. I didn't expect you to see through it so quickly. In the future, you will eventually know my strength. Sister-in-law, you look so beautiful, and you are hot. Why can't you defeat Cao Yan? But it's okay, as long as I can use you to defeat my brother. Use me to deal with Lu Ming? Lu Ming has no feelings for me. I'm afraid your calculation will fall through. Really? What's the matter, Ming? You look so angry. It's okay. It's lunchtime. Let's go and eat together. Oh, by the way, Ming, I just saw Assistant Song and Lu Cheng. They're hooked up together. So much he really has to mean to navigate between the President and Vice President. Although the president used to hate her, but he kept her around for over a year. Think carefully about the relationship. Sister-in-law, do you think I really asked you to be the secretary? Your job at the MC group is to help me to create a scandal. Don't go too far. That's too much? Since I can block the message, don't let my brother know that the child in your bed. I can also be unaware of your child to provoke my brother i can do anything you <laughs> my sister-in-law has had a pregnancy reaction so quickly if my brother knew about the child in your belly will he take you to the hospital immediately to kill the child Song Wanqing. Stop. What do you mean? Let go of me. I have to go to work. What if I don't? <laughs> Mr. Liu, please behave yourself. Brother, sister-in-law is such a good woman. You don't cherish her well. You make her angry for the sake of other women. I will talk with sister-in-law on your behalf. Assistant Song and Lu Cheng have a really good relationship. I thought the rumors were fake. What do you mean by that? I heard that Assistant Song is particularly loyal to Lu Cheng now. She can do anything for him. Manager Wong, this is the file you need.
Please behave yourself. Hmm. You aren't willing to do anything for Vice President Lu's project. You slept with so many male colleagues. Why are you pretending to be innocent? If you keep talking nonsense, don't blame me for being rude. The entire company knows about you. Assistant Song has become the mistress of Vice President Lu, and she will do anything for Vice President Lu. You are really infatuated. What are you doing? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Assistant Song! Look at Assistant Song! Let go of me! It's a sister song. It's a sister song. She seduced me for Vice President Lu's project. It has nothing to do with me. You're talking nonsense. It's clearly you. You're really bitchy. To attract clients for Lu Cheng, it's really unscrupulous. If the company doesn't need employees like you, you can resign. I won't admit anything I didn't do. Besides, I'm currently the assistant of Vice President Lu. Mr. Lu, you have no right to decide whether I stay or not. Assistant Song. Ming is worried about you, so he said this kind of thing in a moment of impulse. Don't blame him. You shut up. No need for you to worry. Ming! Assistant Song is so desperate on men. If Grandma finds out, she will definitely agree to your divorce. I will handle her affairs on my own. You go ahead and do your work first. So much Jing. It seems that if you don't die, Ming will not come back to me. Go to hell! This bastard life is really tough. It seems that the lesson I taught you isn't enough. <gasps> You! I'm warning you, Taoyan. If you dare to harm my child again, I'm not done with you. As for Lu Ming, I don't want him anymore. You'd better get him to sign the divorce agreement quickly. Otherwise, you will always be a mistress. Bitch! Clearly you were the one who stole my love. How dare you mock me? I'm just mocking you. So what? Don't forget. Three years ago, you drugged Lu Ming. And we had sex because of that. You did everything yourself. What are you so angry about? How dare you mention things from three years ago? Why shouldn't I dare? Taoyan, do you think your Ming really loves you? If he loves you, why did he refuse to touch you three years ago? Why do you have to force yourself to drug him? Taoyan, you are so pathetic. So Wan Ching, you dare mock me. Well? Go to hell with your child! <sighs> Taoyan, didn't I warn you before? Don't touch my child. If something happens to my child, I will definitely kill you. Do you dare to touch me? Looming won't let you go. Assistant Song, I beg you to let me go. Please let me go. Let go of her. <laughs> Are you okay? Ming, I thought I would never see you again. What the hell happened? I saw Luchin came to see Assistant Song, so I came over to say hello. I didn't expect Assistant Song to threaten me directly by not telling you about Luchin's visit. Song Wang Ching, Yonor came to see you out of kindness. If you don't thank her, it's okay. But attack her? Why are you so malicious? Right. That's right. I am malicious. Did we just know each other? You. Sister-in-law. Brother, she can't even stand steadily. It's okay if you don't care about her. You still bully her instead. You don't deserve to be her husband. You shut up! She can't stand steadily. I think her health is better than anyone else. Since there's nothing else going on, go through the discharge formalities tomorrow. Help Yan Er connect with work. Don't delay her work. Sure, Mr. Lu. So, may I ask Mr. Lu? Can a malicious person like me leave now? This is the file that needs to be destroyed. You hurry up and deal with it. Assistant Tao, it's time to finish work now. 
Please come early tomorrow. So, Wan Ching, you want to leave before you finish your work. If you don't want to do it, you can resign and go home to your baby. Don't delay my work. Sister-in-law, what are you doing? The abandoned document that Tao Yan brought over. She told me to destroy them. This is a confidential document that my brother is responsible for. It's not an abandoned file. What? Assistant Song, you actually destroyed the confidential document. Destroyed important company documents because of personal grudges? This is the abandoned document that Tao Yan asked me to destroy. Shut up! Even now, you still lie to me and blame me on her. I didn't. Assistant Song, I was wrong about that day in hospital. I can apologize to you. If you want that, I can kneel down to apologize. But don't distress Ming. For this document, Ming who worked overtime for a week, but he sorted it out. The partner is still waiting for it. What do you want Ming to deal with it? Mr. Liu, please limber up your wits. I am the personal assistant of Vice President Liu. How could I possibly have access to your confidential documents? Assistant Song, I know you don't like me, but you can't joke about work. Do you know how important this document is to Liu Group? Tao Yan, you know the truth. Do you need me to call out the company's monitor? Assistant Song, did you do it intentionally? You know that the company's monitor is broken. Also ask me to adjust the monitor. Song Wan Ching, come with me. Ming! Song Wan Ching. What's the use of being angry alone? My brother doesn't want to deal with her. It's no use getting angry with you. What do you mean, Lu Chen? Are you laughing at me? Tao Yan. Just rely on your abilities. It's impossible to retrieve my brother. Otherwise, how about our cooperation? Okay. I want to see what you have. Uh. Song Wan Ching. Lu Cheng isn't someone you can't control. Leave him. To avoid self-humiliation. What does it have to do with you whether I leave somebody or not? I said... I don't want to get involved in your brother's affairs. Please don't provoke me again. You have prepared your luggage. Don't you want to move to Lu Cheng? Fine. Destroying confidential documents, snatching my project, and going to live with Lu Cheng now. It's really shameless we haven't divorced yet. Lu Ming? I'm shameless? So what are you in Taoyan? Don't talk about Tao Yan and me. We're not what you think. It doesn't matter to me what you and Tao Yan do. Step aside. I'm telling you, Lu Chen is not sincere towards you. You're like a chess piece to him. A chess piece to cope with me. If you like him, you will be doomed eternally. Lu Ming. Falls in love with you? I am the one who are doomed. Hello? Ming, where are you? I'm so scared. Can you come and accompany me? <laughs> Your Ming is now fucking me. So Wan Jing, how could it be you? Ming! Ming! Yan Er. So Wan Jing! <laughs> so Wan Jing. If you dare to seduce Ming, I will definitely not let you go. So Wan Ching, aren't you very arrogant? I want to see how arrogant you are when you're locked in the bathroom. Who are you? I need to go out. Let you out. <laughs> Mr. Lu asked us to lock you up here. How can I let you out? So Wan Ching, it's closing time now. The company is already empty. You just stay here. All night. No! Let me out!
What are you doing? Let me out. Help! Let me out. Is there anyone? Help! Is there anyone? Let me out. Let me out. Help! Help! Miss Lu. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Song Wanqing, is that you? Is there anyone? <laughs> Song Wanqing. You saw someone is bullying me. Are you happy now? What am I happy about? Didn't you have me locked up in the bathroom? What kind of person are you pretending to be? <laughs> the president of a company. How dare you use such means to deal with a woman? I really despise you. <laughs> I will give you an explanation about this. Don't be so hypocritical here. Sister-in-law. Brother, what's wrong with her? Get out. It seems that my people are very skilled. You arranged it? What if it's me? She loves you so much. Why did you treat her so badly? Brother, if she loved you, you'd treat her even more harshly. If you dare to touch her again, I will make you pay the price. Lu Ming. Wow. Thanks, sister-in-law. You came specifically to deliver medicine to me. You treated me well. I'm really flattered. Don't pretend. If you don't threaten me with my child, would you think I would come? Okay, don't get angry. It's not good for the child in your belly. You are so hot. How could I be willing to let you go? Lu Cheng! Brother, she sent me medicine specifically. Don't be angry with her. Lu Chan, the medicine has been delivered. I should go now. What are you acting? Hugging in front of me? What are you pretending to be innocent about? Your face looks so bad. If you hurt her, I'll be heartbroken. Lu Chan, the conflict between your brothers, it's not of my business. I'm here to deliver the medicine. The medicine has been delivered now. I should go. <laughs> Delivering medicine? If I come a little late, will you send yourself to his bed? What a bitch. Brother, don't misunderstand me and my sister-in-law. You shut up! Don't touch me. So you enjoy touching by him. But you can't stand me, right? That's right. I do like Lu Chang. Stay in you. You go away. I'm warning you. Just to touch her again, I will break your arm. You can't control me. But you can't control her heart. <coughs> mm. <coughs> No, I need to resign quickly and leave. Pregnancy and vomiting reactions are increasing. If I keep going like this, Looming will definitely find it out. So Wan Ching, Wang Group has been waiting for you for three hours. Why don't you go over there? All right now, Wang is not working with us anymore. Do you know how much the company has lost? Wang's project doesn't belong to me. Don't pretend to be foolish. Don't think you become a mistress for Mr. Lu. Can rest assured. If you can't finish the work, you still have to be fired. It's really big gossip. Assistant Song seduced Mr. Lu. Isn't Mr. Lu Taoyan's boyfriend? No wonder Taoyan wants to trouble Song Wan Ching. If I were her, I could have taken it a long time ago. Taoyan, I've been enduring you for a long time. You know what this is, do you?
Why are you so anxious to grab it? Afraid that others might know you're reversing the truth, deducing a married man? Didn't you have an agreement with Ming about not disclosing your marital relationship? Right. I promised. But now I'm backing out. Because I followed the agreement too much. That's why you're such a mistress. To behave as a tyrant on my head. Taoya. You know you're a third party, but still arrogantly in front of me. I gave you face, didn't I? So what? It was you who dragged Ming before climbing onto his bed. Ming had to marry you. Otherwise, you should have married me. Do I have to tear down the last layer of cover for you? Back then, you were holding onto the unconscious. Shut up. Don't think anyone will believe your nonsense. Sister-in-law, are you okay? I'm fine. Song Wanqing, come with me. <laughs> Song Wanqing, what did you say to my grandma? Why did she ask Yuan Er to quit her job? I said nothing. But why did grandma call me? Why are you so cruel to Yuan Er? Don't forget, it was you who played tricks to ship her out and replaced her to be my wife. You should leave instead. Yes, I have grabbed her place. She is an eyesore to me. I wish I could drop dead now. You want to divorce me on the surface, but make things difficult for her on the side. To attract my attention, you are a scheming bitch. Okay, I'll get your wish. Miss Song, remember not to do strenuous exercises. <laughs> Otherwise, you will have a miscarriage. Get off me! You've done a lot of things to let me have sex with you, haven't you? Why did you refuse to make love just now? Don't put in an act. It's disgusting. Lumi, you're an asshole. Hello? Hello, Yun Er. Sorry. This time, it's Grandma who asked me to fire you. I know. Ming, don't worry about me. Or be angry with your grandma. It's okay. Yun Er, I made you feel wronged. It was my fault to get Assistant Song's goat. Otherwise, you would not get caught in the middle. I will behave well and not trouble you anymore. You are so considerate. If you want to work, I can slot you into a job of the branch office. No, thanks. The reason why I go to the office is that I want to be with you. Since I departed from the company, I will wait for you at home. Ming, you will often visit me, right? Sure. Hello? Kill a person for me. Someone Ching. You will die soon. Only in this way can I become a slew of flu group. Make it clear. Watch out! Ah! Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank goodness you're alright. I'll take you to the hospital. Lu Chang, why are you here? Sister-in-law, I can't believe for saving my brother you put your unborn child at risk. If he knows it, will he be moved? Did he know I'm pregnant? No. But I'm curious about the reason why you bought that ticket to High City. What? Lu Chang, why did you investigate me? If I didn't do it, how would I know you would escape? You have a little money in your bank card. Even if you leave the city, you can't afford to raise your child. As long as you cooperate with me, two months later, I'll send you away from here. I promise my brother will never find you. Then you can give birth at ease. I'm in hospital now. He will know it soon. Don't worry. I have planned it well. He will not know this. Besides, um, he will give you a surprise. Luming, you have fell in love with Song Wanqing without realizing it. If you lose her, 
at the time you love her most, will you be sad? How can I trust you? Think about it. So, Anqing, why did you save me? Because if you get injured, your grandma will be upset. Just because of my grandma? What else then? Fine. Mr. Lu, I have found the one who hired the killer to stab Assistant Song. Who? It's Miss Tao. What? I have sent the results of this investigation to your phone. Mr. Lu, please divorce me. I was lucky to be off the hook. But next time, maybe it's not so lucky. For this matter, I'll definitely give you an explanation. Taoyan, explain it to me. <laughs> Ming! Three years ago, you, you drugged me, which made me have sex with Song Wan Ching unconsciously. Ming, how could I drug you? At that time, we had got together. You would marry me sooner or later. It was unnecessary to do this. I found the person who has stole the drug. At first, you drugged me. Then you hired someone to stab Song Wan Ching. Why did you become so evil? I... I just wanted to scare Song Wan Ching. I didn't mean to actually hurt her. Meng, please forgive me. It's my fault. I love you so much that I have done something wrong. You love me, and then you hired someone to kill Song Wan Ching? You made me so disappointed. Disappointed? Ling, what I have done is all for you. Don't make excuse. You know the result of hurting my family member? If it was not Haoran who asked me to look after you before he died, you would not stand here at all. Ming! From now on, get out of my sight. No, Ming, please don't do this. You promised Haoran to take care of me. Get out. So, Anqing, I have misunderstood you and have got you wrong for three years. What can I do to make it up for it? Wanqing, thank goodness you're okay. If you get injured, how can I stand it? Grandma, don't worry. I'm fine. Lu Ming, because of you, Wan Ching was frightened. Can't you say something to comfort her? Grandma, it was all my fault. I will get along with Wan Ching. Three days later, in the banquet dinner of MC Group, I will announce to the press that she is my wife. I'll give her a cart which I have owed for three years. Great. You are a good boy. Glad to say that you have figured it out. Wan Ching, I know you love Lu Ming. For the sake of me, could you please forgive him? I am waiting for you to give birth to a chubby great-grandchild. Looming, should I believe you? Looming? Why is it you? What the hell are you doing here? So Wan Ching, I started to take pity on you. Until now, you're still in the dark. Do you really think today Lu Ming will declare the relationship with you? What do you mean? Just wait and see. 
I'll be sure to let you know who Lu Ming's beloved is. You bitch! Lu Ming, let bygones be bygones. From now on, let's keep going. See you in the next life, Ming. Sorry, Wan Ching. Wait for me. <gasps> Lu Ming! Lu Ming, I am so naive. To have fantasy about you. Actually, I am the biggest joke. Taoyan, why did you hurt yourself? Ming. Excuse me, Miss Song. Why did Mr. Lu leave? It was heard that just now Mr. Lu took a call in the backstage. Was this phone call made by Miss Tao? Was Mr. Lu's leave relevant to it? It has been rumored that Miss Tao is Mr. Lu's girlfriend. I would like to ask you a question. Mr. Lu and you have been husband and wife for three years. What happened in this one? It said that Mr. Lu always dotes on Taoyan. You were the one who took away Mr. Lu illicitly, and then become Mr. Lu's wife. So are you the mistress? Take me away. Song Wan Ching. Why are you staying with him? My husband left me for another woman. Then why can't I be with him? Brother, if any, even if you like Tao Yan, can't let sister-in-law stay at the banquet hall all by herself. Shut up. Don't forget that you're still my wife. I don't want to be your wife anymore. Let's divorce. Divorce? Then what? Be with him? Anyone is better than you. What do you mean? I mean, I don't love you anymore. Clear? Are you in a fit of pique? You're angry with me because at the banquet hall, I left you alone, right? Let me explain, please. You don't have to do this. Just take care of Taoyan. As for me, it's none of your business. Sister-in-law, I think my brother was wrong. It was not urgent. He had no need to leave. But don't worry. He is a man who is always in a state of emotional numbness. He's just indifferent to me. Not to Taoyan. Once Taoyan called him, he left me behind. Do you think she really wanted to kill herself? I don't think so. Although I'm not familiar with her. In my opinion, she, she doesn't seem like the type to kill herself. It's supposed to be a bitter pill. <laughs> yeah. Even you can tell. How could Lumi not know? Drop me off at the corner head. Wait, sister-in-law, it's not easy to get a cab. Will you go home on foot? If you don't like listening to me, I will keep silent. Lucha, no matter what happened between Lu, me, and me, we should keep our distance. Thank you for keeping those reporters away from me. But your purpose is so obvious that I can't accept it. Sister-in-law. You have a clear head. Thank you. Sister-in-law, if you don't like my brother, you can think about me. A 
I'm not a mistress. I'm not a mistress. No, I'm not. Are you okay? You're supposed to be in the hospital now with Taoyan, aren't you? Why are you still here? Get out! Don't get agitated. It's my fault to leave you at the banquet hall. But Taoyan committed suicide. If I didn't go see her, she would die. You were afraid you would die, but you didn't care that I had become a laughing stock. Have you ever thought that I would be unable to handle it? I know, I know. I'll make up for it. Compensate? Mr. Liu, you're entangled with Tao Yan, and say compensate me at the same time so that you can have your relationship with two women, right? Or are you worried after our divorce, I'll marry a younger brother? And lose face with the Lu family? No. Wan Ching, come on, stop your imagination. I will not divorce you. Remember, you're my wife for the rest of my life. It's all my fault. I will make it up to you. I will put in all the effort to treat you right in your entire life. You will always be my wife. From past to present and to the future. What you're saying now about this, it is utterly pointless. I don't give a shit. You know that? Could you give me one more chance? Just one more time. Again? Oh, Lu Ming. I've given you more than one chance, haven't I? I was... I was already tired, really. I have even booked a plane ticket to leave Lan City and my letter of resignation. I'm going to deliver it to the company tomorrow. As for our marriage, whether we stay or not, I can't take it anymore. From now on, we are dead to each other. I don't care. Do you think you can leave without my agreement? What? Mr. Lu, are you planning to lock me up, huh? I don't care how you think. Anyway, I won't allow you to leave me in this lifetime. <laughs> What do you intend to do, Lu Ming? Ming, you saved me that day because you still love me, right? I saved you just because of Haoran. No other reasons. You don't love me anymore because of So Wan Ching? You have no right to say her. I have no right? Ming, you love Song Wan Cheng so deeply. But she is pregnant now. It's Lu Cheng's baby, not yours. She did what? that kind of sick thing. Song Wan Cheng, are you pregnant now? No. Ah. Look, this. You're pregnant. Why choose to cheat me? Tell me the truth. This baby is not mine, right? Lu Ming. Are you crazy? You should know what you did to me. I should know? So Wan Ching, you think I'm silly? <laughs> you think I can trust what you said? Let me out. Impossible. I won't allow child not belong to me live in the world. You must make an abortion. Don't touch my baby. Lumi! <laughs> Wan Ching! <laughs> She was hit in the abdomen. Need rest. If not taken carefully, she may have an abortion. Thank you, doctor. The doctor said that you may have an abortion. Why not make an abortion now? Lumi, what are you talking about? It's also your baby. You think I'm silly enough to trust what you said? Oh, amniocentesis. I can do the amniocentesis. I can test the DNA of baby. Lumi, give me one more chance to prove that it's your baby. All right, I'll give you the chance to drop the idea forever. Remember, the baby of Song Wan Ching is not Lu Ming's. That is the proof you want to show me? 
Impossible. Impossible. There must be something wrong. Impossible. I have the proof now. You still keep the secret of who is the man having affairs with you? No. No. Lumi, it's your baby. I want to do the omniosynthesis again. Shut up. Who is the man? Is it Lu Cheng? You have been pregnant for two months. That is the time you act as his assistant. No. No. It is your baby, really. Lu Ming, trust me again. How can I trust you? You had sex with him long ago, didn't you? I know. No matter what I said to you, you will not believe, right? I want a divorce. What? I say, I want to divorce. So, Wanqing, you betrayed me. It's you who betrayed me. And you want to divorce me now? Because you don't believe it's your baby. So let's divorce. After the divorce, we will have nothing to do with each other. So you can live a happy life with Lu Cheng, alright? Don't be a daydreamer. <laughs> Lu Ming, you say if all the media in Lan City know that the wife of Mr. Lu has a baby of someone else, will all the people of Lan City laugh at you? Haha. <laughs> Good job. Betray me and threaten me. You really are a shameless woman. Yes. I have no shame. I'm such a woman. So why do you still keep me here? And you, the president of Lucre, are so broad-minded that you like raising the baby of someone else. You just remind of me. The baby won't be left. What do you mean? Come on. Give her the abortion surgery now. Yes. No. No, Lumi. It's your baby. You can't kill him yourself. Please don't. Your change of war is so <laughs> fast. For such bastard, even such a lie you can make. No. No. I did that just for irritating you. That's crossword. What I said was just crossword. You believe me, really? Brother, Wang Xing, what do you hear in the hospital? Lu Ming, please explain to Lu Ming. He thinks the baby is yours. It has nothing to do with you. Right, she's right. Brother, the baby isn't mine. Brother, you are so stubborn. It's okay to hit me, but don't hurt the baby. No matter who is its father, it's an innocent life. <laughs> Get off! Stop fighting! Come on, take her away! I tell you, except for Lu Cheng and the baby, no one can you help. Before the surgery is over, don't dare to leave. Doctor! No, no, Lumi. The baby is exactly yours. Please don't kill our baby. Take her away. No, no, Lumi. No, Lumi. No, Lumi. Lumi. No. Wanching. Lumi, you don't believe me. I can't let you hurt the baby. I have to go today. Brother, why to be so hurried? You just listen to me first. Just a worry. If you continue running after her, she will die. <laughs> So Wen Qing, you're finally in my hand. Do you wonder whether Ming loves you or not? 
I will help you find out. Whether Ming loves me, or you, such a shameless woman. Lo Ming is coming. Tight me, quickly. Here's 5 million yuan. The rest of that is in the car. 5 million yuan. Why not get that all here? I can't take so much by myself. If you don't believe me, go take with me. Am I foolish? If I do that, is it possible to come back? Here's just 5 million yuan. We can let one of them off. One is your wife, the other is your girlfriend. Choose one. I can give you what you want just for their safety. You can only choose one. Say some last words. Ming, you must save me. You must save me. You promised my brother that you will take care of me. At that time, my brother died of saving you. It's your turn. Lu Ming, whether you believe the baby is yours or not. Choose one. I give you three seconds. Time's over. Both will die. One. You must take good care of my sister. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So. Song Wanching. Sorry. I have promised Hold on. I choose her. Looming in your heart, I'm nothing. At this moment, your baby and I, two lives, are less important than the life of Taoyan. Go! Go! Wan Ching! Mr. Lo, time's up. We should hurry to HG Company to attend the welcoming party. Chief designer for HG Company. Corin will also attend. I got it. Nice to meet you, Mr. Lo. Nice to meet you. It is said, it's said that the chief designer of, of HG will reside in your company, Mr. Lo. What's wrong with you? Wanchi? Mr. Lu, you've been looking for Mrs. Lu for a long time. If Mrs. Lu is still alive, it's impossible that there isn't any news. Shut up. She won't be dead. Director Chen, long time no see. Now you are chief designer of HG. Wan Ching? It's you. <laughs> Mr. Lu, I think you must be mistaking me for someone else. My name is Corinne. I have searched for you for five years. All of them said you were dead, but I never believed it. Mr. Lu, behave yourself! Why do you deny me? Wait, are you still mad at me for what happened five years ago? Mr. Lu, I think you would rather go to a psychologist for help than mess with me. I'm sorry for that your wife was killed in the accident five years ago. This time, I could forgive you for your deep emotion of your dead wife. But next time... I'm afraid that our company has to break up the partnership with yours. Mr. Lu, Corin will reside in our company in the following days. There will be lots of opportunities to chat with her. So Ching! You bitch! I can't believe you're still alive! Why don't you die with your bastard? <laughs> So watching, how dare you slap me? How dare you talk so rude in front of me? Sharpen your eyes. I'm Karin, not so watching. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. 
What's the matter? Ling, Song Wanqing, she just dares to hit me. Who let you come to MC? Ling. Do you want me to get someone to get you out? Song Wanqing, we'll wait and see. Mr. Liu, I'm asking you to take care of your girlfriend. Otherwise, I won't be so kind next time. Wanqing. Is there anything else, Mr. Liu? Are you still mad at me for choosing Tao Yan five years ago? I'm... Mr. Liu, I'm Corinne, not Song Wanqing. If you want to explain these things, you should explain them to the people involved, not to me. Get out of the way. Wanqing. Mr. Liu, I don't care if it's a pestering ploy or if you really use me as a stand-in. I feel so sorry for your wife and child. Corinne. As a brand owner, I would like to invite you to Grandma's birthday next Monday. If you could come, she'd be very happy. Mom! Mom! Xiaoqin, why are you here? This uncle brought me here. And bought me a lot of delicious food. Where have you been this five years? Why do you deny me? I've been looking for you for five years, but I didn't expect you to give birth to Song Jin secretly. Looming, why did you just pick up my son without my permission? Do you love Lu Chang so much that you'd go into hiding and raise the child alone for him? It's none of your business. Don't forget, we're not divorced yet. The one who didn't divorce you was Song Wanqing. She died at sea five years ago. The person standing before you is Corinne. I'm warning you. Don't touch my son. I'm not dead. Mom, did you have a fight? No, I didn't. But you have to listen to me. From now on, you can't just go with strange uncles. Do you hear that? Wanqing! You're finally back. What the hell are you doing here? Don't hit me. Not anyone can attend this banquet. Get out. Don't touch my son. God, what's going on? Go out if you want to make trouble again. Bang. So watching takes the child to grandma's banquet. Aren't you angry? <sighs> I'll slap you if you keep talking like that. So watching. Back then? You cheated with Lu Cheng and got pregnant, then faked your death and left. How dare you take this child with you? Shut up! This child belongs to Lu Ming. Whoever dares to talk nonsense again, I'll rip her mouth off. Grandma. Grandma. You know all about it. Wan Jing, you've been wronged all these years. In the future, Grandma will make it up to you. This time, give Lu Ming a chance. After all, he is Xiao Jin's father. So Wan Jing, for the sake of the child, I... Let's start over. How could this child be his? Mom, is he my dad? Didn't you say my dad was dead? Yeah, Xiao Jin. Remember, you only have a mom, not a dad. Grandma, it's getting late today. We'll leave now. We'll see you another day. Get out. Do you want Xiao Jin to grow up without a father? Baby, can you get in the car and wait for me? Okay. Lu Ming, from the time you had Xiao Jin aborted, he has nothing to do with you. There has always been only fights and no trust between us. I won't give you another chance to hurt me. If you don't come back, I'll find a lawyer to take Xiao Jin. 
You're threatening me. I just want you to give us a chance to start over. Well, I give you this chance, but you have to promise me one thing first. What is it? Pay me back the life you owe me. What? You can't do it? Since you can't do it, don't just talk about any chance or forgiveness. I really hate how self-righteous you are right now. Every move you make now reminds me of how stupid I was back then. I chose Tao Yan because... That's enough. Don't want any explanations. I only look at the results. The result was that you chose Tao Yan and abandoned me and the child. Looming. If you ever have the slightest bit of guilt, don't bother me and my son anymore. Mom, do you hate Dad? Xiao Jin, didn't Mom tell you? Your dad died at the sea? Mom, it's wrong to lie. You taught me that, Mom. I've seen pictures of my dad. And the way you looked at them and cried. Xiao Jing, you're still young. There are things you don't understand. I do. You never get angry. You only get angry when you see Dad. You have Dad in your heart. What's going on? <laughs> Wan Ching. Wan Ching. Wan Ching. Wan Ching. Xiao Jin. Xiao Jin. Xiao Jin. Please wait outside. Doctor, how about my wife and son? The child has escaped from death. He'll wake up later. But the lady... What's wrong with her? For the car accident, she's diagnosed with intracranial hemorrhage. Now, there's no life-threatening, but I'm not sure. When she'll wake up, in the best case, she'll wake up in three days. In the worst case, she'll turn into a vegetable. A vegetable? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Lo, Mr. Lo, I have found the cause of the car accident. The monitor shows in the grandma's birthday banquet, someone sneaked into Lu's home and cut Mrs. Lu's right hand. Who did this? Can't see his face. Then find out. Yes, sir. So on Ching. How lucky you are. It doesn't matter. Let me send you to die. Stop it! What are you doing? Ming, I... I was doing nothing. Don't look at me like that. I'm scared. Scared? When you hurt Wan Qing, why don't you feel scared? I didn't hurt Wan Qing. Ming, please trust me. She's your wife, and I love you so much. Why should I hurt her? I just saw it. Clearly, you still defend yourself? Looks like I need to investigate and put you into jail? Yes. I did hurt her. You want to kill me? Don't forget that you still owe my brother your life. We once promised him to look after me for life. Don't mention Haoran. If he knows what you are doing, He'll only be heartbroken. Tell me, why do you become such a person? Why do I become such a person? Looming, I damn love you that much. I'm waiting for you to marry me. But why do you marry So Wan Ching and fall in love with her? You know how painful I am? All the things I've done are made by you. You know that eight years ago, you've done whatever you want. Because of Haora. I didn't blame you. What you did today, you asked for it. So? What do you want? Kill me?
It was I that drove the car and had accident which killed Hauran. I'm sorry for that. What I owe you. I use this knife to end today. But what you owe Wan Ching, it's time to pay back. Dad! Dad! Let him go. Lu Ming, for so Wan Ching, you want to kill me? Even yourself. I love you for so many years, but you totally ignore it. Well, even I die, I want your child to die with me. As long as you hurt him, you'll pay for it. Do you think I'm still afraid of your threat? Xiao Jin. Take her out. Lu Ming, you're such a brute. If my brother knows it, he won't forgive you. It's okay. It's okay. Wanching, you don't wake up. Is it because you don't want to see me? I'm so stupid. I always believe in Tao Yan rather than you. You blame me for that, right? My childish and arrogant behaviors hurt you so deeply. I never know how to love someone. I take it for granted that you should tolerate all the bad things that I did. The things that I've done to get you back push you further. Wan Ching, I'm such an idiot. I thought what you need is my compensation. But actually, what you need is freedom. As long as you wake up, I'll let you go. And you can live as you like. Wanching, Wanching, you can hear me, right? Wanching. Wanching. You are awake. You are? You don't know me? I'm looming. Your husband. You're looming? We are married? Really? Am I dreaming? You have no idea that in the college forum, the first time I saw you, you're speaking with fervor and assurance. I was thinking, for my whole life, I must be with you and accompany you. I never thought after waking up, we really got married. Yeah, we are married. And we are happy. We also have a son. <laughs> What's his name? Song Jin. Song Jin? Why not Lu Jin? Because only the first child takes after your last name. Can I ask you to give birth to another baby? I didn't know you were so naughty. Wan Ching, I believe it's a second chance given by the god to make up for you. So we can finally start over. Who are you? What do you want to do? 
I haven't seen you for a long time. Song Wanqing, you have probably forgotten me. That's okay. Let me tell you. For the past five years, how tortured I've been. Why are you still alive? As long as you die, there will be no one in love in this world. Don't touch me. You answer it. Looming. Help me, Looming. Recently, my brother accompanies you every day. You must be moved so deeply. Don't you know what he had done before? All right, I'll tell you one by one. Do you still remember Tao Yan? Because of her, my brother never cared about you. After marrying you, even when you were pregnant, he sent you to the abortion personally. You are a bitch. Don't exploit my love for you and do whatever you want. I warn you, the thing that I can't obtain will end up being damaged by me. <laughs> Help! 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 You are a smart woman. Why do you love my brother? Why do you have to love my brother? Don't you know what he did in the past? Help! <laughs> Wenqing! <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just helping her recall that things happened five years ago. You also haven't told her, right? You know what? No. <laughs> the things that I can't get, you can't get them either. No, no, no. Wenqing, Wenqing. Don't touch me. Get off me. Get off me. It's been five years. I'm still the miserable song watching. Who is like a toy played by you. Do you think it's funny? You remember? Yes. I remember. And I don't dare to forget anymore. Wanching. I didn't mean to hide these things from you. I really want to restart our relationship. Wanqing! Restart? 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 Is it decided by just a sentence you say? You, President Lu, where does your confidence come from? Do you think that when I, so Wanqing, think of these five years and all the horrible things you've done to me during these five years, I'm still willing to make it up with you? Where does your confidence come from? Don't say that. Do you know that during the five years when you were missing, I regret it every day. I wish I could trust you more back then. You would not have suffered from these. Wanching, really, I... <laughs> it's me who should regret. I should regret... All the things that happened between us. I should regret falling in love with you, a devil. Lumi, from now on, we turn into strangers and live our own lives. No, no. Wanching, Wanching. Get off me. Do you know how disgusted? Do I feel when I see your face? Ping, you are drunk. Let me take you home, okay? Wanqing, don't go. Lu Ming, I love you so humbly, but you love so Wanqing. Ming, I will make you mine, even though I can't get your heart.
Ming, you're finally awake. Why are you here? Are you asking me why I was acquitted? And why did I appear in your bed? Ming, you didn't let me go yesterday. You fucked me until midnight. Stop talking nonsense. I couldn't have touched you even if I was drunk. It doesn't matter if you've touched me or not. The key is, I have already taken photos of us sleeping together. Guess what? If I send it to Song Wan Ching... How dare you! <laughs> Mr. Lu is really busy. Even you don't give yourself time to rest. You even pretended to be affectionate yesterday. I almost trust you. Wanching, I can't explain. I was drunk yesterday. Enough! You were drunk. You mistook the wrong person and can't remember anything. What's more? Luming, you are the president of MC Group. Don't you even take responsibility for what you've done. The more you explain, the more I will look down on you. Ming, since Miss Song has come here, why not tell her the news of our engagement? Let her also feel happy. What are you talking about? Ming, think carefully before you speak. Song Jin is under my control. You are going to be engaged? Don't you see everything, Song Wan Ching? Besides, Ming and I were originally a couple. If it weren't for your interference, we'd have got married long ago. Shut up! Lu Ming. I want you to tell me. Yes, we're getting engaged. <laughs> okay. So, since you're getting engaged, can you give Xiao Jin back to me? I heard you picked him up from school today. Why are you in such a hurry? Ming just took Xiao Jin away to look after him for a few days. Did I speak to you? Me, as the fiancé of Ming, also Xiao Jin's future stepmother, what I mean is what Ming means. Stepmother? Xiao Jin is my son. You dare to harry him? Wanching, calm down. Get out, Looming! Who are you getting engaged to? Has nothing to do with me. Can you give Xiao Jin back to me? Why do you take Xiao Jin away? Why? Why? Don't make trouble out of nothing. You want to see Xiao Jin, okay? Then come to me and Yan Er's engagement party. You bastard! I thought you were just so blind. Now think about it. The right key fits the right lock. You two are truly perfect match. I wish you two. A harmonious union forever. Hello, Mr. Low. Hello, Mr. Low. I'm here. Where's Xiao Jin? What's the rush? Our engagement party hasn't started yet. Help yourself. Please go take a seat first. May and I will be very busy today. I apologize for the inadequate hospitality. I warn you. If Xiao Jin hurts even just a little, I'll definitely not let you go. Ming, you see? She said this on the day of our engagement. Song Wan Ching. There are indeed some misunderstandings between us, but I hope you can get over it. Now, Yan Er is my fiancé. I want you to show some respect. Enough! Lu Ming, I'm asking you. Do you insist on getting engaged to this woman today? Grandma, Yan Er and I love each other. I hope Grandma can accept it. Okay. 
Then I'm not your grandmother anymore. Want you? He doesn't want you. I want you. In the future, I will consider myself without this grandson. Find someone to kill that child. Otherwise, Lu Ming's heart will always be with Song Wan Ching. What are you threatening Lu Ming with when the child dies? I used that child to threaten Lu Ming so that he agreed to get engaged with me. But he just doesn't want to marry me only by killing Song Wan Ching and that child. Then Lu Ming will come back to me. That child is now... Grandma, where are you going? What are you doing? I'm doing what? Since you won't accept me, I'll have to kill you. No one can stop me from becoming Mrs. Liu. Uh, grandma! Uh, grandma! Uh, Someone Jane, do you want to save her? I just want you to see this with your own eyes, watching her die in front of you. All those who get in my way deserve to die. You're such a malicious woman. You killed Grandma. I will kill you. What are you doing? You killed Grandma. I will kill you. Grandma. 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 Take her to the hospital quickly. <laughs> So I think I know I know Charles why get it to me. But grandma is so kind to you. How could you push her downstairs? You're slinging mud at me. It's you who pushed grandma. Were you in love with Looming? Why did you harm his grandmother? I've had enough of your explanation. Hey, today is our engagement day. I hope grandma is safe more than anyone else. If you don't believe me, you can ask the waiter. She saw everything. Mr. Liu, it was indeed this young lady. She pushed the old lady down just now. You... Uh, you really suspect it's me? <laughs> Lu Ming, that's Grandma. Since I married into your Lu family, no one is good to me. Only Grandma loves me and supports me. Now she is at death's door. How oh, I wish it was me instead. How could it possibly harm Grandma? Yeah, so wanting. Grandma is so nice to you. You kicked her away because she couldn't help you. If it weren't for valid evidence, I can't believe you're such a malicious person. Shut up, you murderer. You better pray that Grandma's okay. Otherwise, I will definitely retaliate against you. Lumi, for Grandma, just believe me once. Once! The price of believing you. I can't afford it anymore. You can't hate me. You can retaliate against me. But you shouldn't have hurt Grandma. I really want to open your chest and take a look, whether your blood is cold. <laughs> oh, me. Whether I really harm Grandma, you have the answer in your heart. Now your grandmother has been hurt like this by this woman, you still show favor to her. Do you really love her to this extent, Lumi? Loving her so much that you don't even have conscious. Is that enough? Song Wan Ching. That's really good acting. <laughs> Let go of me. Hmm. You should reflect on yourself here. If Grandma doesn't wake up, you're not allowed to leave. Who me? I'm a person. Not your dog. Even a dog knows how to swing its tail at its owner. But you... You're a wolf that can never be familiar with its owner. You'd better repent here. 
pray for grandma. Said I won't eat. What's going on? Song Wanching, are you threatening me with a hunger strike? Your tactics are as low as ever. I didn't threaten you. I'm just resisting your coercion in my way. How did you speak these words so seriously? Do you think your life is important to me? So that I won't harm you, right? You guessed one thing right. I won't let you die easily. Because you haven't atoned yet. Looming. It's not me who should atone. I have self-awareness. I won't threaten you in a way that harms myself. After all, in your eyes, my life is not worthy. In my eyes. And so are you. What happened? Why are you here, Taoyuan? Someone Ching, although you messed up my engagement with Ming, but logically speaking, I am the hostess of this family. Don't you think it's embarrassing to ask me these questions? You're a mother. Take good care of yourself. Don't let your child worry about you, Ming. Am I right? Taoyuan. Don't be too excessive. Where is Xiaojin? You'd better eat first. If you don't want to cause trouble in your and Taoyuan's wedding room, tell me where Xiaojin is. Be a good girl and finish your meal for yourself and for Xiaojin. And don't force me to use extreme tactics. Are you threatening me with Xiaojin? Don't forget that he is also your child. Really? To Xiao Jin, it's really a pity that he has a mother like you. Taoyuan, where is Xiaojin? Bing, this is my trump card. Before I became Mrs. Liu, it's impossible for me to tell you. I'm very satisfied with your performance today. Are you feeling heartbroken? No. Then I want someone wanting to be my servant. You should also agree. Right? The porridge is ready. It's so hot! How can I drink it? What's going on? Bing! She can't even cook porridge! Look! It's cold at my hand! Go and make another bowl. Wait. You want to leave without cleaning up first? Is this your attitude as a servant? She's so clumsy. What do you think she can do? Why don't you ask the housekeeper to do this? I want her to clean up, Ming. That's what you think, right? Yan Er. Oh, Ming. What are you pretending to be? Let me be a servant? Isn't it just to humiliate me? By the way, this floor is very expensive. You need to kneel on the ground, use a cloth to wipe it clean, bit by bit. You! If you can't clean the floor, what if Xiaojin slipped and fell? Okay. 
I'll clean it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say it. Miss Song shouldn't be mad, right? So much for Xiao Jin. You must be patient. Yonder, let's go. Bing, why don't you ask her to tidy up our ready room for us? Tell Yan. Do you want to know Xiao Jin's whereabouts? Did you hear what Yan Er said? Go and tidy up the wedding room. Lu Ming, don't be fake in front of me. If you have time to care about me, you might as well spend more time with your fiancé. I just wanted to remind you, even though you are only a servant now, that you're also the chief designer sent by HG to MC. Do you know how important hands are to designers? You... Now come with me to treat the wound. Stop being amorous. Ming! Lu Ming, since you care so much about her hands, then I will discard her. Make her unable to be a designer in the future. Song Wan Jing, does it look familiar to you? This is my carving knife. Why do you have it? In the five years since you disappeared, you have won many design awards with it. It must have special significance for you. Today, let it play its final role. What do you want to do? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ming! Help me! Song Wan Ching is going to kill me! Song Wan Ching! No, it wasn't me. It was herself. Ming, it's all my fault. Even though she hated me so much, I still approach her recklessly. Tao Yan, you're slandering me. So many years, it's not the first time you set me up. Shut up. Not only did you hurt my grandmother, but you also hurt Yan Er now. You're so vicious. I'm vicious? <laughs> I've always been so vicious. Don't you know? Let's go to the hospital. Lu Ming, I hate you for your injustice, never giving me any trust. But I hate myself even more. <laughs> Why do I still have expectations for you? <laughs> you stay here and heal the wound. I'll go first. Ming, where are you going? I'm so scared to be here alone. What if someone Jin comes to me again? Do you still want to pretend? You know if it wasn't for Xiao Jin, I wouldn't cooperate with you to hurt her. Ming, what do you mean? What do I mean, don't you know? Wan Qing is not you. Even if she hates you, she wouldn't use these vicious means. I can't understand your words. It was so Wan Qing's knife that cut me. And her fingerprints are still on it. If I send the knife to the police station, she's the only suspect. You are threatening me now? Ming, how can I be willing to threaten you? I just want the people who hurt me to pay for it. What do you want? Marry me. Ming, I know you've always been loving Wan Qing. So, do you want to divorce her and keep her safe? Or, do you want to stay with her and witness her going to jail? You've gone mad. You're threatening me with hurting yourself? How can you face Haoran? You have no right to mention my brother. Lu Ming, you owe me. What I promised him was to take care of you. Not to marry you. I don't care. Your wife can only be me in this life. Well, Lu Ming. 
Are you trying to kill me? To please your young heart? Ping, you should tell me some of the good news. Yan Er has forgiven you. You should apologize to her. Well, I guess I should be thankful to her. I'm getting married and in a good mood. That's why I forgive you. We'll invite you to our wedding when Ming and I get married. Sure. Then I wish you can be together forever. Thank you so much, Miss Song. Such a sincere blessing. Oh, Mr. Lu, Miss Song passed out. Wunching. Wunching. Are you okay? Mr. Lu. Your wife fainted due to malnutrition and emotional instability. You should take good care of her. Wanching, hang in there. Once I find out where Xiao Jin is, I'll take you both home. Moreover, your wife is weak. Her recent diet should include more liquid food for better absorption. Got it. I'll go get some. <laughs> Listen to me. If you want to know about Song Jin, come to <laughs> Nan Yuan Club, room 2501. Lu Jun, where's Xiao Jin? Where did you hide him? Sister in law. Straight to the point, huh? I'm not used to that. I prefer to do things slowly. What are you up to? Don't be shy. Uh, stop! Get off me! Stop it! I don't like to force people. I got Xiao Jin's news. How about you make a deal, huh? What did you do to him? Kids are naughty. Losing an arm or a leg isn't a big deal. But don't worry. As long as he receives treatment in time, he should be fine. What exactly do you want to let Xiao Jin go? Well, that depends on how you behave. So, Wan Ching. Two hours ago, you were weak in the hospital. Now you're out here cheating alive and well. <laughs> Watch your mouth. We're no longer together. I can do whatever I want. None of your business. Brother. You heard it. Sister-in-law is willing to be with me. We will see each other. We are still family. It's not necessary to embarrass each other. Family? You! Looming! Just now. You cherish him so much? What should I say? Lu Cheng has said. And you have got married with Taoyan. I bless you. And please, don't be too hard on Lu Cheng and me. Don't distress you, Lu Cheng. So Wan Ching. Now you love Lu Cheng so much. Even without hesitation. Why do I need to conceal when I love a person? And please, don't mess with me again. Brother, you heard that these are the words your wife said. You stand still. If you leave here, you must be regretful. If I stay, I will be regretful most. Lumi, I'm sorry. I must find Xiao Jin. He is my life. <laughs> I let you feel deep in hell. Inconsolable. <laughs> Stop! Don't touch me! Don't! What? Lu Ching can fuck you while I can't? 
Now seduce me with your body. <laughs> don't! Don't! Looming, stop it! Don't make me hate you. At least... It is real that I once loved you. It's clean. Don't stain the memory. Hum. The filth is not the memory. It's your heart. <laughs> no! You're so unwilling to carry my child? You know, clearly. Don't take the drug again. It's harmful. Take the drug. It's better than inducing an abortion. And we will have no happy ending. Looming, shouting is not here, right? It seems what I said is right. Give me some time. I will find Xiao Jin. For you? Xiao Jin is just a hostage to intimidate me. You actually don't love him. You don't deserve to be a father. Looming. I don't beg for you to find Xiao Jin. But can you let me go? I want to find him myself. You can't leave. Lumi. Anyway, Chao Jin is your son. Do you really give him up? I will handle this thing. As for you, you need to stay without any choice. Lumi. I tell you. Chao Jin is my life. If he is injured, I will kill you. Okay. Three days. I give you three days. Lu Chang. Help me kill someone, Ching. Hello. Lu Cheng, let her go. Let her go? Do you take me as a fool? How can I threaten you if I let her go? She's your sister-in-law. You treat her this way? It's because she's my sister-in-law I treat her this way. Or it is you that hurt her. How can you let Wan Qing go? No! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Please, Lu Ming! Please let them off! Please let him off! You'd like I let him off. It's very easy. Just sign the shares transfer. I will let both my sister-in-law and Xiao Jin off. Xiao Jin is in your hand? That's right. Both of them are under my control. This feeling of being squeezed at throat is not very good, right? <laughs> Lu Cheng, I warn you. If you lay a finger on Xiao Jin, I will not let you off. Lu Cheng, brother, if you still hesitate, I will take away the sister-in-law. Okay, I signed it. No! Lu Ming, no! Lu Ming, no! Lu Ming, no! You also have a soft spot. Looming. I'm sorry, Wan Ching. I'm sorry, Wan Ching. I'm sorry, Wan Ching. How are you feeling? So, you treat me like that before? Just because Shardin is in their hand, right? So, 
you endure silently. Because you want to know Xiao Jin's were about, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I blamed you wrongly. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Lou. Mr. Lou. Mr. Lou. Mrs. Lou is kidnapped. Mr. Lou. Mr. Lou. Tao Yen. Bitch. You bitch. Seduced Lumi from me? Where's Xiao Jin, my son? Xiao Jin? It's been five years, Song Wanjing. Why are you still so stupid? You really believe he's still alive? What did you do to my son? You still do not understand? So I say it more clearly. At that time, he had more than ten wounds. The one at his chest bled the fastest. I heard he was yelling, Mom! Mom! All the time. Then he got too weak to speak gradually. Tarion, I will kill you! <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> I have another gift for you. In no time, you can go to stay with your short-lived son. It deserves to be Lu Ming's former wife. He's really fortunate. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Brothers, we agreed I'm the first to fuck her. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Let me go! Lu Ming is coming. What? Wanjing, are you okay? Xiao Jin, I bet you deserve Xiao Jin quickly. Xiao Jin's already saved. Wanjing, Wanjing. What did you guys do? Just let you catch a woman? What an awful mess you leave. A bunch of junk. Bitch, you said Lu Ming did not care her at all. The Lu family has huge influence here. You want to break our livelihood? Oh, brothers are simmering with rage with me. What are you doing? I'm Lu Ming's fiance. <laughs> Serve her well. No problem. Today I brought your most favorite food. So intimate. You are my life. I ought to be intimate. But I never see you acted like this before. How do you like it? <laughs> okay. I see you've almost recovered. Shall we go and see Xiao Jin later? Good. These days, Xiao Jin called me many times and said he missed me. Yo, I did not disturb you, right? Lu Sheng, what are you doing here? I've transferred the shares to you, Lu Ming. You mentioned the shares to me. At that time, I just entered the company. You framed me up and said I privately took possessions of public funds. Do you want to ruin me? Otherwise, how can you give the show away? You knew it early. Where's the child? You just deliberately framed me. That's right. Lu Ming, you are too terrible. You deliberately cheated me. You even do not care about your own child. Are you not worried I would hurt him? 
You do not have that kind of ability. Get out. I will leave by myself. I will not let you walk. So you knew the fact in the beginning. We're shouting right now. In your eyes, your company is the most important. For the interest of your company, you didn't even consider shouting safety. Wanqing, I did not make use of our child. I already arranged supporters, as well as doctors. I have the confidence to ensure the safety for Xiao Jin. You have the confidence to ensure his safety. Then why did you arrange the doctors? <laughs> Lu Ming, I'm so disappointed in you. You are not qualified to be father of Xiao Jin. Wan Qing, listen to me. I just want to make use of this chance to remove Lu Cheng and Tao Yan. Make them not threaten you and Xiao Jin anymore. I did that all for your safety. I beg you to trust me. Trust you? How can I trust you? I know you for so many years. I should have known who you are. Uh, release me! Uh, are you okay? I don't need your care. I've done. Taoyuan hurt you. I've got enough evidence to sue her. She'll spend the rest of her life in jail. And Lu Cheng will join her. I'm telling you, you are mine forever. Lu Ming, the first half of my life has been ruined by you. All I want to do now is to reach Xiao Jin out. Could you please forgive me one more time for Xiao Jin's sake? Xiao Jin needs his father when he attends parent-child activities. If I show up, other kids will stop mocking him. A bastard without a father. Just forgive me, please. Mommy, are you fighting with Daddy? No. We're not fighting. We're just having a serious conversation. Now you are joining us. Let's talk about something funny. Like, when are we going to the amusement park? Amusement park? Mommy, I have daddy now. Xiao Jin, you really want daddy? Of course, when I was in kindergarten, they... They always said I was a bastard with no daddy. Why? Shall you never tell Mommy? Mommy is busy every day. I don't want Mommy to be worried. Shao <laughs> Jin. From now on, Daddy will always be by your side forever. Daddy, take me to school. I'm gonna show them how great my Daddy is. Lumi. Lumi. Are you trying to put your brother in jail with your own hands? Shoujin, go play with Uncle Yang. Okay. Dad, why ask me while you already knew everything? Thank God you still remember I'm your father. Let Lu Chen go. Don't you forget, I'm the chairman of MC Group. And you can decide nothing. Dad, all those years you are a missing person for me and mom. Now your bastard gets in trouble. And you come out to play the role of my father? You asshole! What do you mean? Since you were born, I've given everything you wanted. Even the MC group. Isn't that enough? But Lu Cheng and his mother. What I owed them. Can't be paid off all my life. You pay for what you have done, not me. Uncle Lu, I must speak for Lu Ming today. You can't sacrifice Lu Ming to make up for your mistakes. Sure, Lu Ming's success today is due to your cultivation. But if Lu Ming is just a pleasure seeker, 
you wouldn't hand MC Crip to him. His success today also comes from his hard work. So aren't you afraid of hurting his feelings? Shut up! Who are you to talk to me like that? You've all grown up, haven't you? Huh? Today, you have to choose either this woman or the president of MC Group. I choose Song Wan Ching and MC Group. Both. Good. I fire you now. You are not president of MC Group anymore. Let's see how long you can hold out. No, Uncle Lou. You can't do this. I... I leave Han City and never see him again. Wan Ching, just ignore him. MC. Oh, Gui Ming. Maybe you have mistaken my behavior before. What I did is just because you're Xiao Jin's father and you saved me before. I'm just a little bit touched. But we'll never be the same again. Are you serious? Yes. There's too much rift between us. Like a broken glass. Your love is just pity love. Besides, I don't love you. But I'm pretty sure I love you. I know why you said so. You're afraid of dragging me down. But I'm telling you, you and Xiao Jin are never a burden to me. So I beg you, my wife, Song Wanqing, give me some time, okay? New plan. Three days from now, at the MC headquarters, I'll hold a shareholders meeting. Dad, you're old. It's time to retire. Sorry for calling this board meeting on such short notice. This meeting is to re-elect the chairman of the board. Looming, what are you doing? What I am doing should be clear to you. I want to re-elect chairman. How dare you? I have 25% of this company. I'm the largest shareholder and also the chairman of the board. Who gives you the right to call a board meeting beyond me? Here's the new shareholder table. Pass it around. Now I am the biggest shareholder of MC Group, so on this election, everyone state your position. I support President Lu Ming to be the chairman of MC Group. President Lu is a young talent. Under his leadership, MC's market value has doubled continuously. I agree. I fully support the return of President Lu. You. Thank you for your support. I will definitely lead MC Group to a higher level. I won't let you down. Additionally, former chairman is too old for any job up at the headquarters. I, the current chairman, would like to ask him to retire and enjoy his later life. Looming. What the hell are you trying to do? Lu Cheng. Wan Ching. Won't you call it a coincidence to catch you here? Relax. Even though I want to do something, I could do nothing. What do you mean? You might not know that my brother just called a board meeting to remove my father. Now he's the chairman of MC Group. To keep you around, my brother makes 
a risky move. Until now, I understand how I lost my brother. What do you want? Wanching. Don't you trust me at all? I just came to say goodbye to you. So Wanching. I said I like you. And I mean it. Maybe no one would believe it. Just take it as a joke. Yes, at first, I hit on you because of my brother. But the more time I spend with you, the more curious I am. Tell me, how could a woman like you ex exist in this world? Smart and stupid. Lu Chang, if you want to compete with Lu Ming, fight him fair and square. Do not use dirty tricks. You are the same with my brother deep inside, proud and arrogant, which I hate so much. Back then I just wanted to steal you from my brother. But never did I expect to fall for you. Wan Ching, I wish you and you my brother a happy life. I make my own decisions of my life without any of your help. I've booked a flight ticket leaving Land City. This would be the last time I see you. See you never. This is Assistant Song. As you all know, I'm going to reintroduce Song Wanqing, my wife. Today we are signing a shared transfer form. I will give all my shares to my wife. Wait, Lu Ming. I appreciate what you did, but as president of MC Group, you have to keep your shares. Well, are you willing to start over? Xiao Jin, are you looking for this? Yes. <laughs> mommy, does it look good? Yes, very good. <laughs> it's for you, Mommy. Beautiful princess should live in a shining castle. Daddy and I, we're warriors protecting the princess. Yes, we are. Warriors protecting Mommy, no matter what happens. So, Mommy, we'll take care of her, okay? Thank you, Xiao Jin. And Dad. Mommy used to miss Daddy silently. Now Daddy is home. Let's sleep together. <laughs> Xiao Jin, stop. Why stop him? What else Mommy had said? I... I won't look. I won't. I'll stay in the bathroom. I know you're still mad at me. But hear me out. You had taken a lot of grievance while being with me. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Just one question. Do you still love me? I... Wanqing! Doctor, how is she? What should we do? Lu Ming, calm down. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Mr. Lu, your wife is fine. She is pregnant. What? Wan Ching, you heard that? You're pregnant. We're having another baby. I'm pregnant, not deaf. I can hear it. Mr. Lu, your wife is in the early stage of pregnancy, so you must pay attention to the food and the rest. Yeah, yeah. Wanching you, you want to eat anything? Or do you feel unwell? Do you want to lie down and take a rest? I don't want to eat or rest. Why are you so nervous? It's not my first pregnancy. Right. Not your first time. I missed your first pregnancy. It won't happen again. Being pregnant is... It's in a good memory for you, is it? Sorry, I'm not a good husband, or a good father, but I'll never be absent from our life in the future. Lumi, you don't have to do this. Whether you accept it or not, I'll take good care of you and Xiao Jin. But my question last time, you haven't answered me yet. Do you still love me? 
I... I know. I'm going to buy some forage. Lu Ming, please sit down. I'm not saying I don't love you. What did you say? Please say it again. Please say it again. Lu Ming, I love you. Thanks, Wen Qing. Give me a chance to turn over a new leaf. I'll make you the happiest woman. I promise. What? Really? Good. Wanching, Grandma wakes up. Grandma wakes up? Then let's visit Grandma right now. Grandma. Grandma, you wake up finally. Are you freaking to death? There, there. To see you to come and visit me is enough for old bones like me. Grandma, it was all my fault that day. If I had gone there early on that day, you would not be pushed downstairs by Taoyan. Silly girl, how could that be your fault? It is that woman Taoyan. She is too vicious. Grandma, Taoyan has got the punishment and in prison. She will never appear in front of us. Well, on that day, though I was pushed down the stairs, I was conscious, and I heard how you misunderstood Wan Ching. Mm. In fact, I know it all the time, that it was not Wan Ching to blame. You know I didn't do it all the time. Then why? It was just Tao Yan. She threatened me with Xiao Jin. I couldn't do anything. So... That means... If it had not been Taoyan who pushed Grandma down the stairs, then you would have been engaged to her? Of course not. I only belong to you. I just wanted to let her be and trick out Xiao Jin's whereabouts. Then you have to explain. On that day, why were you lying on the bed, Taoyan? What? You were lying with Taoyan on the same bed? <laughs> Grandma, it's not the truth. On that night, she was angry with me, so I got drunk. But I promise, I never touched Tao Yan. Who knows? Anyway, Tao Yan is now in prison and cannot come out to confront with you. In her personality. If I did have something to do with her, then everybody would know it. You're quite the smart as usual. Why when it comes to Tao Yan, you just you lose your mind? I... It seems to be our wanting is jealous. Grandma, I'm not. Are you okay? No. Are you okay? I'm sorry. It's my fault, knowing you're pregnant and I still irritate you and make you so emotional. Who are you talking about, Wan Jing? Are you carrying a baby again? Is that true? You are reconciled? Grandma, hadn't we known that you've woken up, Wan Jing would have accepted my proposal. Wan Jing. You, what are you thinking in your mind? to see his performance. Welcome to attend Mr. Liu and Miss Song's wedding. The way to happiness has been paved. Now please, let us make the warmest applause to welcome our beautiful bride. Mr. Liu, would you like to choose the woman beside me, Miss Song, as your wife, whether in wealth or in poor, in health or in sickness, in joy or in sorrow, when she is in need, company with her forever? Yes, I do. Miss Song, would you like to marry Mr. Liu, whether in health or in sickness, in wealth or in poor, in joy or in sorrow? Accompany with him forever? Yes, I do. Wanching, these years I misunderstood you and hurt you. 
Thanks for you to choose to be with me once again. Let me pay for the rest of my life to make up for it and take care of you. Thank you. Wanching, I love you. I love you too.